That's a really... Mm. You know, she said that she uh, was with you at City Hall. She was. And then we left. You know, she, she was with my intern. Or soon to be, potentially. He's a mute, though. So Bucky? that's the last thing she remembers. He wears uh, yellow. And he writes on a notepad to communicate. You know him? Only uh, mute I know is Bucky. Wait, what is it? Okay, he's there already. Let me call Lando. This is fucking insane. We're gonna do, uh... My idea, we should go quickly. Quite frankly, I don't know what the fuck I can do. There's so much shit happening at once right now, it's blowing my fucking mind. What's your idea? Um, I actually want to go around. We're gonna go inside. Uh, Mayweather. It's a lot of open areas, so... We're gonna see people coming and going pretty easily. Uh, I just know the gate is locked. Um. No, we can go. Yeah, we can go around the side. Ah, uh, always comes down to laying in Nino and trying to fix everything, huh, chat? Oh, this is a tough lock right here. <clears throat> right. John, did you get an email about getting a uh, subpoena for your time? <coughs> just, no. An email. No. You don't have any idea why they'd want your... I don't know why. Why I don't know why me of all people. Uh, it's because Marlon. Marlon Marlo must have said something. Marlon must have said that you guys hang out yeah. online or some shit. He must have said something that want, yeah. they want your phone records. He must have said something. It's the only reason. Florian wasn't around at all yesterday. I, yeah, I wasn't involved. Things. I was all just right, hanging so out. Lando's first on his way. First is never mention me or I'll kill you. Wait, who said this? I did just now. Okay. What about at Dean World? When we all went and got milkshakes. Wait, 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 it's a rollback. Wait, wait, what? Are we going to talk here? There? Yes. Who was there? Yes. Who was witness to what happened? I was not. Uh, uh, so, egg. I think. And oh, I think to the actual going. event? Presuming you already know about and it? Everything and anything that took place last night. Do you want the full story? I think I was there for everything. Okay. Yes, from the top, please, Bjorn. All right, so uh, it started with the Otto's court case. Uh, Bassam was there arguing with the judge. Bassam got the nines in a... About what, exactly? Uh, Conan Clarkson ran over James Arsenal at Otto's and shot his shotgun inside the thing and tried to run over some other people, so they took him to court. Before the court case, he went by Otto's and ran over James again and shot his shotgun again the same way he did for the other court case. The judge was siding with the city guardsmen a bit, Bassam got in an argument. I was not at the court case. This is what I was told. Bassam got in an argument with the judge. He got the nines from the judge and was fined half a million dollars. Who is Andy, at the Who is at the court case? Andy and all, pretty much all the autos employees. All right. Was were any of y'all there? Anyone else we know other than Andy that was at that court case? No, I went by her at the very end and saw heard the ver, the ruling and that yeah, was I it. I dropped by for like two seconds. That's it. Okay. The re I, I want you guys to think about who else might have been there because the context of what was said may be important, right? The only person I talked to the court case, uh, Andy and I stood in the back and Mila that works at Autos, who I think was Bassam's girlfriend, spoke to us. Oh, fuck. 
So uh, we went to go get Bassam from. <laughs> I Prism, forgot about where this and that's when, chick uh, is. I had to take a phone call outside, and Andy was talking to him inside, and he was talking about. Uh, Andy said guns and drugs involving Denzel in prison, and that's what set her off. And uh, once he got out of prison, we uh, took him to the lighthouse where uh, he lost two fingernails and then was taken back to autos where the car was repaired, where me, Lando, Andy, and Bassam all were in Denzel's unhinged vehicle. Uh, and there were several autos employees around. We left there and... Uh, what? Yeah, that's Andy's car now, by the way. Okay. No, Andy's so let's car. pause okay. again because details matter. Why did you, why did you all decide to take him? Uh, Andy wanted him to fix her car, so she took him to autos so he could fix her car. I told you he was gonna be mad. Sorry, I was trying to prevent a heart attack. I'm sorry. Continue. You, you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Continue. Sorry, I'm just trying to prevent the heart attack. Is this before or after the fingers? Uh, after. Okay. Uh. So Bassam told was so uh, uh, Bassam told people that uh, at autos and other elsewhere that he lost his fingernails to Bovice and uh, no 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 why why was he taken in the first place and tortured oh Andy picked him up from prison just because uh, she was meant to go get him from prison and uh, she, when she went and got him she was pissed about him uh, talking about. Uncle D and the stuff she was he was saying, so she took him over to the lighthouse. And did she compel y'all to go down there? Uh, that was only me. Land. We met Lando right after that at Autos, and uh, she uh, had me help her because uh, Uncle D needed it. She said. She Again, said that. He, he was saying what to the people? Not in those exact words. Uh, he so we were at the she we were at the visitation area and he was talking about guns and drugs with Denzel, in in the courthouse and stuff, and that's what set off Andy. He said this shit in the courthouse. Oh no, sorry, the prison in the visitation of the prison. Uh, uh -huh. Why after he got the nine? So he was in the prison visitation talking to Andy, and he was and were there actually people around Andy? And, I don't uh, know. Bachelor. I went. Out, I stepped out for a phone call. Does anybody know if there was actually people around them in this visitation meeting? I don't know who else was the there. The only people there was Bjorn and Andy. And I stepped out for the. Uh, I, I think someone. The, why did she go down there in the first place? Did you me. say that? Uh, no, I don't remember why. Yeah, because I need to understand what was her reason to wanting to have a meeting with Bassam at visitation. I don't know. I uh, I can't remember honestly. So then so, uh, she brought so him we, to the lighthouse. Continue. We took him to the lighthouse, uh, roughed him up, and that's when she demanded that he fix uh, her car. On the ride back, he admitted to embezzling from all the companies he works for, uh, and then he repaired her car at autos. Lando met us there. He got in. We left there. We went to the courthouse. Uh, Bassam went inside to get all this stuff and uh, called Andy back and said he wanted to have a one-on-one -on -one with her. Lando and I got in her trunk, and uh, then Bassam got in without us realizing we were in the trunk, and they rode to Shumash together, where Bassam ended up pulling a wand on Andy, uh, and they had a long conversation. Uh, at the end of the conversation, Bassam put the gun in the glove box and got out of Shumash, uh, and then we drove off. Later, it seems uh, Bassam was freaking out because he knew Denzel was going to find out and probably kill him, so he contacted Denzel to meet him there. Which Denzel went there, and uh, that's when Denzel shot him. Did whose idea was it to torture him? Uh, Andy's. Um, did she do it herself? No. Who did it? I ripped off two of his fingernails. Now, did that was straight from prison? He told people at Autos that Bovice did it, and no one. After he left the prison, saw him with fingernails. Did she convince you to do it, or did you think it was she, the right idea? She told me to. Why and did you it, feel like you had to do it? It seemed like it's what Uncle D needed. And she told you this? She made it seem like it 
would help Uncle D. Mm. And at the I time, I agreed, I guess. I would assume the reasoning would be if Bjorn rips off his fingernails, Denzel won't fucking kill him for talking about this shit at the prison. Uh, maybe, but guys, when you torture somebody, it's to extract information. It's not to make sure they keep their mouths shut. Subsequently, you ripping off his fingernails probably led to him holding Andy at gunpoint. Mm -hmm. Correct. He got in the trunk, though. And who the fuck is Andy? And Lando's the, mom. Uh, the other mayor? The ex-mayor? You love your mother, Lando. Oh, he didn't mean it like that. <laughs> you know, going no, straight not like to I love my family. <laughs> Is there any reason why we shouldn't find this woman? Tie it to the back of a car, drive that vehicle through a fucking street race, and then if she's still alive, dismember her and and disperse her body throughout the fucking ocean. Denzel will go crazy. Other than that. Hope you're ready to put Denzel down to plus the HOA. Uh yeah, that as well. Guys, this is really, really, really bad. Because if Andy goes, then yeah. there's going to be a lot more people pissed than there are with Bassam. 100%. There's uh, there's no evidence to what happened, uh, as far as most people know. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh... You mean there's no evidence? Ma Ma uh, fucking Malo just got picked up by Pred, and Dorea just got shot. I think people know what happened. And I got subpoenaed for <laughs> some reason. They know we left I autos, mean, the issue but... is that no one should know. Well, the only people it, involved was Andy and Denzel. Well, the thing is, Andy's also gets super fucking nervous and may start, you know, confiding in other individuals who end up running their mouth because they don't give a shit. They might think it's funny. They have no fucking concern or like have any, um, have any, uh, you know, foot in the race, right? I promise you, Andy's told at least five people already herself. Oh, 100% she has. 100%. Uh, you know, do you want to. Did Uncle D get rid of the AK? Does anyone know? No. Probably kept it. No shot then. I would ever keep a murder weapon, guys. Yeah, yeah. No, actually, he would. What do you mean, no shot? I, I, do you know I, who you're talking I, about? Also, uh, there are I feel pictures like on if Twitter. I, Hold on. I feel like, up. generally speaking, Denzel would get rid of it, but I feel like if he killed someone like Bossom, I think it would fucking hold on to that shit just because he thought it was great. There, I feel like. It, Part of the reason the... he did this isn't just because of Andy, but you know he wanted to exit on a on on a certain uh, in a certain kind of way. Yeah. yeah. If they can find the casings, can they? Will they know what kind of gun it was to? Uh, yeah. I think they can tell if it was an automatic rifle or a pistol. Yeah. Uh. Well. So Andy and Denzel, along with, maybe I can't remember if Lando was in them, had pictures on Twitter within the past week holding an AK at City Hall. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, there was that, also there that was, was given to them by the that was given to them by the police, and then they took it back. Oh, thank God! Yeah, that okay. that, that was actually that has a cover. That was that was oh, a God. whole that was its whole own context. Thing. Yeah, context yeah. first next time. Jesus fuck! I'm gonna die of a heart attack. Okay. Yeah, no, that was like a, a whole own thing. It was uh, Svensson, Malton, and. Uh, Kovacic, I think was his name, were there, and they Kovacic. were just. Yeah, something. And it was just, uh, it's completely irrelevant. Guys, we're in deep shit. E. Yes. No, 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 this is, this is why, so, you can point Thanks, fingers yeah. and think it's only one person, <laughs> but this is why I always stress and exaggerate as to how important it is not to just kill our problems every single time because of how many things are tied to us. Glorian is getting subpoenaed, okay? Yeah, I have no idea why okay, I'm being No fucking at idea all. why, all right? Glorian is tied to Bjorn, Bjorn is tied to Jaeger, tied to Nino, tied to me, tied to Dean, tied to Egg, Lando. It's the whole fucking web. And why did we want to kill Bassam? For saying some dumb shit in prison? There's... Sure, he shouldn't have talked. Sure, maybe well, we should have killed him. I don't think any whole, of us did. This whole I mean, fiasco? None, none, of us, in this. none of us killed him. Or were well, the, only, the moment... The only, yeah. The moment you... We're convinced by Andy to even lay a finger on him. It was fucked. 
Yeah. Hold on. This is Drea. I gotta take this call real quick. Hey. Hey, I filed the report. Um, but yeah, uh, it's just kind of weird. You remember I was telling you about how he, like, Fred was talking about all that stuff earlier, and then now this happens. I don't know. It's kind of strange. It, it's very, very weird. Did you emphasize Isn't the police that, that you're a deputy mayor? I did, I did, but they were kind of like they just sort of, you know how like how they are. They're just like oh, we're busy. We got officers down, and then they ran away. These cops are so fucking useless and dog shit. I'm gonna give you Pred's I number. Know. I want you to call him yourself, okay? And I want you to give I, this I information. Call, I have Pred's. I have Pred's number. I have. I have Pred's number. I tried calling him. I don't know if he's around right now. Okay, keep calling till he answers the phone. I'm pretty sure he's still around. Okay. Okay, okay and so then call me back. Okay. Bye. Now is Malo was taken by Pred at this. So Malo was seen speaking with Pred about an hour ago. I got a call from Daryl who noticed this conversation taking place, and shortly thereafter, he was brought down to Mission Row PD. Yeah, I mean, I orchestrated that to make sure Malo knew what's going on. Wait, what? What bit? All of that. I, you know, Malo talking to Pred is is what we want to clear his. Oh yeah, my God. God. yeah, we Thank wanted to God. clear his name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We told Marlo. He uh, he told us, uh, you know, do I say anything? We told him not to say shit. Now, do you trust Marlo more Wait, than me? you knew about this already? Yeah, that he, so I already told all... you that he was getting integrated by Pred, right? But my fear okay. is I don't think but Marlo is going to keep his mouth shut. It was planned, but I do think Marlo okay. will double-cross anybody. All right. Okay, good. How did Marlo get involved? He, um... He tried to bribe Pred for more information about what Pred already knew. So Pred took that to think that Marlo is like the, the main suspect. So he's so he an kind idiot. of yeah, yeah. Marlo's an idiot. No one's disputing that. Um, <laughs> but then Marlo, you know, became the prime suspect. So he was on the run. So I had to call Pred, get Pred to come to the casino roof. Had a conversation with Pred. Was like, look, mm. Marlo's an idiot, but I'll turn him into you if you promise me that you know you don't fuck him on this shit. And then, you know, Marlo was hiding in the bush and went, surprise, here's Marlo. And then he went to MLPD. <laughs> There's one thing that's good about your uh, mom and dad, Glorion, is that for whatever reason, even for a speeding ticket, they will run from the police. Yeah, they literally just anything. They just run from the police. So well, I was literally with them in two hour police chase constantly. The uh, circling back a little bit, Marlo's DNA was on the scene who knows about this dna thing not had anything about that there's no way that his dna could have been on the scene unless it's for something unrelated where did we get that information from uh, so Link, Pred said, uh, yeah Pred told oh, me Pred i told that? him to shoot straight with me how do you know marlo's involved in this because i was fucking around pretending to know what the fuck happened and he said uh, marlo's dna was on the scene now i think he was bullshitting but i uh, could be oh, true right yeah 100 yeah, percent. no marlo went to Pred and was so Earlier in the morning, when Marlo told me about Basim, before I'd even talking to you guys, I told Marlo to do a bit of digging. And Marlo's version of digging is just go to the main investigator and ask him questions. Because he's a fucking idiot. The subpoena, Bjorn. When did that come through? Uh, I didn't get subpoenaed. Glorion did. Glorion. Uh, Glorion did. Let me hold on. Let me pull it up. Did, on my phone. did you text Basim or do you, do you ever talk to him? Uh, not that day. Um,. Okay, not that day, but have you texted Bassam at all? Or called him? Yeah, I called him, uh, or I tried calling him yesterday, like, after the fact, to see if he was actually alive or dead or not. Okay. Okay, uh, have, you, have you texted him anything that day? Guy. Well, he wants your text messages. Uh, I just texted him, I love you, after hearing the news. Let's hope you haven't oh, texted God. anyone, hey, <laughs> you want to go make fucking drugs? No, I no, I already sent over my text messages. There's nothing in my text messages. All you said was I love you to Bassam, right? Yeah. Uh, so what's that likely happening here came an hour and 15 minutes ago. So what likely happened is after he dies, the everything that is on his phone, uh, recent calls, oh, texts, yeah. etc., every single thing on that phone, uh, the police are able to take. So you texted so, him within the last 72? Hours, Gloria? Uh, they only asked for the past 24, but yeah. Okay, all I sent I them fine. was a text message a month ago. All right, well, I don't care anymore. 
I didn't actually have his number or ever talk to him. Unless they subpoena Denzel. In yeah. which case, I'm going to kill him. They requested it an hour, uh, just under an hour and a half ago, and they're asking for the time frame of literally right now to uh, 8 a.m. Uh, Eastern Time. So literally in that window where he was kind of... Oh my god, the devil around. is awake. Who's that? Denzel. Yeah, this is a massive, Tell him I said hi. massive shit show. Okay, if you come pick me up, I'm gonna have a chat. Yeah, where are you? Um, the apartments. I just woke up. Alright, I'll be this one. I'm gonna go pick him up and bring him here. Let's grab the SUV. On the bright side, this is a lot better than I originally imagined it being. Wait, how? You think so? Yeah. I mean, this is still fucked up, but it sounded a lot worse. That means I didn't realize that y'all had planned Marlo to go down there. And if Dean, oh, I, th I mean, to be fair, say, I didn't plan it. Dean just wanted Marlo to clear his name up. But the thing is, Dean, for some reason, has a very massive blind spot for Marlo. That yeah. I don't think he understands that Marlo clearing his name up by being saying something that will lead them on to somebody else. You know what I mean? I I don't disagree with you, but if so, here's how I look at it: If he was forced down to Mission Row PD, right, then I think that would imply that Pred had something on him, and I imagine Marlo could have broken. But, but if he well, went the thing down is, there with Pred his own volition, did say that if Marlo doesn't come down to speak to him, he'll put a warrant out for his arrest. I think it's a lot more controlled. I think then I think it's a lot more controlled than I imagined it originally. Oh, I hope so. I really fucking hope so. As for the Bjorn thing, now that he's told us this, it's it's not that Bjorn is being subpoenaed because of something that they got on him, but it's more likely because a text was sent around the time of the death. I think there's a lot less that they have than we originally thought but then again maybe i'm just holding on to something either way andy's fucking dead yeah we gotta go to the apartments uh then tells there shit's about to get worse so i'll get ready oh fuck i can't even mention that right oh we can't not yet i mean how much does he love her he just fucking met this woman i mean he told me straight up that he loves her and i've never heard until ever say that about any other person except you know his uh family right so Okay, I got an idea. You know Sophia? You, I don't know if you met her yet. She's from Colombia. Thick ass. I think I met her. I think Tony's about to clap her at the parking lot once. Oh, yeah. They sorted it out now. I told her I'd drown her if she did that again. Oh, all right. Um, So, she is related to Pablo Escobar and, like, all kinds of other shit. She's fucking crazy. She's two weeks in the city, already got, like, Uzis and, like... She's in the meth game or some shit. I don't know. Damn. The point is that I, um, what if we have her traffic Andy to Columbia <laughs> and then we fake a note saying that Andy decided that she wanted to run away and that this was too much and that she's moving out of Los Santos. <laughs> oh my God. You're so dark. Uh, Stag, what's up? Hey. Uh, I already have an idea how to cover this entirely, purely because... Okay, we're coming back right now. We're just picking up inside real quick, okay? All right, perfect. All right. He's right behind us. Wait, is that uh, Charles being kidnapped? What the fuck? By Eugene? What the fuck? All right, let's go back. Uh, what's going on, Denzel? What's up? What the fuck's wrong with your voice? Tired, I just woke up. How long were you up awake last night? It's like 11 a.m. You sound like you're about to fucking throw up. I'm about to pass the fuck out, man. Jesus. Are so you straight ready for this? You don't need some coffee? You don't want to take a shower, maybe? Nah, I don't give a fuck.
Sure, that's you, Denzel. What? I don't know. Your your voice is fucked. How bad is it? Well, you. Uh, if I got a phone call from you, I wouldn't re recognize you as Denzel. Wait, how like bad is it? That's pretty bad. Where, where's the accent, cocksucker? <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway, hi. Hey, how are you? Hello, motherfucker. There you go. See now right. you sound like Denzel. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, some listen. I forgot. You forgot what? Nothing. Are you drunk right now? No. <laughs> okay. Well, where the fuck am I going? This is the right way. No, it's over here. Yeah, we can go this way. Oh my god, I am gonna lose my mind. What's yeah, I was just uh, reading over if the. If we go around taking pictures of each other at docks, with that. Right. It's a Denzel. That that's that. No, that just. No, that just makes it more suspicious. You're bringing just essentially bringing more attention to the dog. So. Yeah. Marlo was dog. just like, "Oh, should I bring him here or no?" Oh. No. Ah, uh, for now, no. But we have to speak to him, yeah. What happened tomorrow? Hello, I'll give you a call in a bit, alright? You know, you want to explain it? I just got to order some food, guys. I've been eating all day, so I got so much shit fucking popping off right now. I gotta talk to you, Link. Uh, what you probably want to talk about is what we're about to talk about right now. Yeah. We already know. Okay. Yeah, I got some peanut. Yeah, big, big domino effect happening right now. Okay. Large domino effect. Yeah, I killed Baron. And Domino's Pizza. Where we might have another issue if what? they subpoena Denzel's text messages. We can't let that happen. Okay, so then let me just turn myself in. Fuck it. No. no. Hold on. Damn, motherfuckers. Hey, you know, speak up, by the way. Uh, I can barely hear you. Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's, let's pause here for a second. You know, Drea was just shot. Yeah. Why the fuck was she shot? Well, maybe because I don't know. Maybe you shot um fucking Bossum and I don't know, maybe NBC may have found out and This motherfucker called me and said I've come to terms with everything and then called me to a pier where I've murdered people with an AK in the past. What the fuck does he expect? Who? Cool. Bassam. Okay, here's a big bomb in the whole thing since Zeno just spoke about it. I didn't want to say without his permission, but Bassam was NBC's literal bank account. Yeah. Oh, that's probably why they're angry. Okay. Well, and <laughs> that's Salim's brother. Wait, is it? Yeah. Yes. Ah, oh, shit. How did they what find the out fuck did you just connected? say about NBC? Well, I gotta, I gotta answer this phone call. Dre again. Give me a second, guys. So... Hey, Drea. Hey, okay, so he picked up. He just yelled at me for being not safe uh, when I told him I was at the fucking courthouse. Um, so I don't know, like, how much safe I should be. Uh, and then uh, he said that he's going to go support Wrangler in his court case. So um, that was uh, fuck. Wrangler's around? Yeah, he's in a court case right now. Okay, uh, stick with people. Give me a call if anything sketchy is happening. You feel like you're in danger, you call me immediately, okay? I'm, I'm handling your shit show right now, Andrea. I can't tell you much about it, but we'll you talk soon, all right? No, that's 
We'll talk later. Bye, Mr. Right. Buddha. Bye. Stay safe. Day. Call me if anything. You suspect anything is about to happen, even if it's nothing, you just call me, okay? I will. I will. I will. I will. So, All right. Bye-bye. They shoot his okay, ass, bye. and then they go after Dre up. Okay. Things got worse, by the way, guys. Uh, Wrangler's around. Okay. okay. Afraid of Bundy more than Wrangler. Look. Okay. Yeah. First, first off, we, did you give me the gun? Ah, uh, there's a reason I didn't, because I wanted to turn myself what? in. What? Well, yeah. How are you gonna turn yourself in, then, Zell? Yeah, I keep the gun. Why not? Fuck it. Not my house. I told you. And plus, it's a trophy. At this point. And Zell, you want me to look after that for you, mate? No, because uh, if anybody's getting heat for this, I've got the gun, so I can just go turn myself in. I mean, we yeah, could also nah, just... You should let someone else look after Yeah, no, no, no. I think I'm going to keep it in case Want I have to turn myself in. Want me to put it in a nice, in. like, glass cabinet or something? No, 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 no. I think I'm going to keep it in case I got to turn myself in. Put it right in. above the mantle. Okay, bef before before we actually get serious for a moment, um, Fingal will take the gun and the blame. Yeah, okay, guys, so that okay. does wait, not wait, matter. Wait, let's 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 pause, let's, for, let's a pause for a second and think about the the things that are already leaking. People already know that Bjorn and Andy were the last people seen with Bassem. Okay, Who's regardless of who takes the fall, regardless of who takes this, this guy was tied to a lot of people in the city. So even if the cops will come try to fuck you in the ass, somebody else will. The motherfucker is dead. The most important thing is we have to find out how the fuck they connected it to Drea. Well, Drea is a deputy mayor, right? Drea was last seen, or sorry, Bassam was last seen with Andy and Bjorn. This is why I always emphasize freak out and panic about killing our problems away because of how many people we are tied to. And motherfuckers are going to take the time trying to figure things out. They're going to connect one and six together and start clapping motherfuckers for this shit. When the motherfucker pings me to the end of the pier, what do you think is going to happen, Lang? And now I need to know hey, I'm, uh, I gotta, I'm whose I'm car was it right to now. pick up Bassam when he left prison. Was it you or was it Andy? Right. When he picked, when he left prison? Yes, he got picked up by Andy and Bjorn and tortured. Was it your call or was this Andy's call? I think Andy did it because he was fucking running his mouth about me. Then the minute I found out he was running his mouth about me, I fucking put a bolt in it. So you were unaware that this whole torture took place prior to getting a phone call or whatever? Yeah. This is Did a fucking shit show. Did you want him to get show. tortured? Did you make that decision? No, but I fucking support that shit. What, what was he saying behind your back? I went into my fucking stash. Which one? In my office. Okay. Is that all he did? Uh, he was also running his fucking mouth. Yeah, but who told you this? I mean, who told me this? I mean, how do you know he was running his mouth? His mouth. Because of my wife. So Andy and it's told also you that Bassam. he's running his mouth. Bassam runs his fucking mouth. Motherfucker got contempt and wasn't able to wasn't going to be able to pay me a hundred thousand dollars. What do you mean, pay you a hundred thousand? He owed me money. So what? Fuck. He was a dead man the minute he got contempt. Wait, why? Because he owed me money. So, okay, uh, besides that, why did Andy meet with Bassam at visitation at Boilingbrook? Do you know why? Mm, uh, I don't remember. I don't remember off the top of my head. How does he owe you money? Uh, because I bullied him into giving me $250,000 and he was giving me another $100,000. Told him if he didn't pay up, I was going to kill him. And the only reason I was able to... Uh, Ray was going to kill him anyway, so... I was trying to buy... Uh, I was trying to get Ray to hold off so I could get more money. Who? Who was trying to kill him anyway? Uh, Ray. Ray? Ray? Yeah. Ray, Ray. Like Raymond or which Ray? Raymond. Yeah, like R. Ray. Because he flirted with Kitty once. Oh my god. Holy what the shit. fuck is wrong with you people? Stop Don't look at us. I didn't do anything. 
any of you motherfuckers ever see Father Troy? Ever? <laughs> yeah. This is yeah. Right. I thought the girl was. I've seen Troy. You That's mean why the you band? get in a relationship. Let me, can we roll back a second? So you bought, how long has this problem been with, how long have you been having this issue with Basim? Which one? <laughs> Anything. I mean, you made him your uh, deputy mayor. How mm. did it go from that to this? When did you have this like resentment against him or whatever the fuck you want to call it? I just, uh, it was easy to push around. So I just bullied him, bullied him into giving me money. And he was scared to death of me. So I could keep bullying him. Oh my god. And so what did he say about you? Well, he uh, he had access to my uh, my cabinet, which had like all my illegal shit. In it. So when he so runs his mouth at gun. prison, yeah. So when he runs his mouth at prison, he saw my shit. Okay, but who heard him run his mouth besides Andy? And why did Andy meet with Bassam? I am dying to know these very two key components of the story. Uh, weren't you with her, Bjorn? Uh, I rode with the prison tour, but when she started talking to Bassam, okay, but uh, when you rode to prison with her, why was she going there? Uh, she just said she was going to visit him. That's all she told me. And uh, I had a phone call I was on, I think with Glorion or someone. I was outside the visitation, so I didn't hear their conversation. Yeah, I think I, I had was, a short phone call with Jordan. Yeah, and I was out, nothing really important. The whole their whole convo was while I was outside because she came outside and was ready to go while I was still on the phone. So I missed their conversation inside. We went back to the courthouse, uh, we saw the verdict, and then we went back to the prison, and that's when we picked him up. Do uh, you know what? It, Denzel, you know how big of a deal this is? Or do you not? Because I, 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 I can't get over the fact that I, I feel like you're talking very nonchalantly about all this. You called oh, Bossom. I'm going to turn myself in. You know what the ramifications are? You think I fucking don't? Well, explain it to me then. Okay, if I turn myself in, nobody else gets the fucking heat. Oh, really? No, of NBC's course we do. NBC's not going to come after us. NBC's going to come, come after us. Cerberus sponsored the campaign, so we sponsored the campaign of a lunatic psychopath murderous fucking mayor. There goes. There, there's so much time to this. There's so much. Yeah, I just fucking literally just told Pred I was running for mayor. They're going to think you fucking off the guy so I have a better chance. Everybody here is about to get fucked because of that. What your decision was? I mean, yeah, hell, well, nothing I don't would even have changed know, my decision. I don't even so know, I don't know if that was a you. decision, quite frankly. Yeah, there was a decision. I made the fucking decision. Did you? Yeah, I fucking did. Did you though? Yeah, I fucking did, dumb cunt. But did you? Uh, don't be, don't be calling me a dumb cunt, you dumb motherfucker. Because what it sounds to me, life, what it sounds to me like fucking oh, Andy right? creating a giant fucking mess, and you gotta go clean it up, motherfucker. The motherfucker calls me, he said he's come to peace with his fucking life, okay, and pings me to a random location. What do you think I'm gonna do, Lang? Put a bullet in his fucking head! I mean, let me ask, can I, may I ask a question? What? 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 Were you aware of the previous events of that night with the torture and stuff when you did this? Uh, not when he first called me. Okay, but when when you were with him, you were aware. Uh, well, I uh, I, I asked for my AK forty seven, and then I got filled in. Okay, so when when the night was already messy, did you did you not stop to think maybe not tonight is the best night to do this? Ah, fuck that. All right, he's dead. He Just, can't talk. Yeah. Figured I'd ask. Who's gonna find a body on the end of the pier? You know the body is found, right? Yeah, I know that now. Okay. <laughs> so everything's just fine. Yep. How good was that pussy? <laughs> is it worth it? I'm gonna do whatever the fuck I wanna do. 
And I yeah, wanted to I can kill that, that motherfucker. Right now. This is, right. Do you not care about the, the shit that the motherfuckers around you are going to be involved in now? Does that not bother you? How is it, it going to be shit? The motherfucker admitted to embezzling money from companies. What does that have to do with anything? Why the fuck would I not offer? Denzel, it's not a matter of offing him or not offing him. You're, you're missing the point entirely. It's it's the fucking the orchestra, the orchestrated bullshit before this. This shit is leaked. This shit was reckless. This shit was not fucking thought about at all. No consequences or decisions were weighed at all before this moment. Glorian's phone records are getting fucking subpoenaed, Denzel. This guy's the fucking head cook of our meth operation. I mean, forget the money for a second. We're all potentially fucked here. You know how the cops are in the city? They will find any little fucking reason. This is the deputy mayor right here. We could all be thrown in for the nines until they decide to finish their fucking investigation. Yeah, and it, do you know how the investigation finishes? How's that? Somebody fucking turns themselves in. I don't want you to turn yourself in. Better than all this and shit. Already, that, doesn't, that, that, out. that doesn't, doesn't change anything. Shit. It doesn't mean that we don't become complicit. That we may not have had something to do with it. I mean, you go in. That might just give them the red fucking flag to go throw Bjorn in. Throw Glorion in. Throw all of us fucking in. You think they're going to listen to, oh yeah, I decided to shoot him in the head? Oh, fuck that. They don't give a fuck. I won't especially, blame him, quite frankly. Especially once word gets out, and it will get out because it took me about seven seconds to figure out that people saw Bjorn and Andy with fucking Bassam after he was tortured. Because Andy thought it was some fucking amazing idea to fucking torture this cocksucker and then bring him to a public spot to fix her car. Where he works on the list. Speaking of that, Bjorn, did you move everything out of your apartment? Uh, I get, I moved my van, I cleaned it out, it's put in the arcade, and the van's been, uh, cleaned. The only thing in my apartment is, uh, I got handcuffs and a couple seeds. Yeah, nothing Give me that too shot. bad. Alright. Should we do that right away? I, I, I need to. I need to leave close. this conversation, knowing Denzel, that you somewhat cared about what the fuck just happened. There's a yeah, lot of, of people. Of course, I, I fucking care. Okay, but at the end of the day, when the motherfucker calls me, said he's already made peace with what he's done, and then I find out what the fuck he's done, you know how I'm gonna react. You know what I'm gonna fucking do. You know me, Lang. God, the motherfucker knew it was gonna happen. He had his back turned to me and pinged me to the end of the fucking pier. This motherfucker knew it was gonna happen. He knew he was fucking dead. Why the fuck else would he ping me to a location in the middle of fucking nowhere and tell me he's come to peace? Could have been a setup. Then let it be a fucking setup. I don't understand why you're just nonchalantly just whatever, whatever, whatever. You are acting so fucking selfish right now. How the fuck am I acting selfish? Everything you're fucking saying right now. You're acting like as if this is all about me. <laughs> doesn't give a fuck, How the fuck bro. am I supposed to know he's a part of NBC? <laughs> Maybe use your fucking brain. How the fuck am I supposed to know that, Nino? I don't even know who the fuck NBC Denzel, really because is. Because these are things I emphasize to you every single day and you call me a pussy for it. You but tell me that Basim is NBC. No, 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 no. Not Basim being NBC. The fact that we can't just jump the gun to killing all our problems without weighing every single potential consequence and decision that we make. And quite frankly, regardless of what you say, I don't think you were going to kill this cocksucker until Andy got in her head and she had to go torture this guy. No, I was going to kill this motherfucker. I, I don't think you were, quite frankly. I was. Right, right. What were, 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 were you go what were you going to kill him uh, for before uh, him and Andy spoke at the prison? Talking about my shit. Okay, but he spoke to her about it, allegedly, which I quite frankly don't even know if I believe anymore. Really? Yes. 
because no nobody else was around for this conversation. I'm gonna speak to every single fucking life from that prison, and if I find out that nobody was around this fucking conversation between Andy and Bassam, or I'm gonna lose my fucking shit. You understand me, right? He talked about my shit in public, so I'm gonna kill him. Like it's that simple. How do you know that's even happening? Because I actually trust Andy. Why? To the well, degree you trust her so much, right? I trust her over that Bassam. you were willing. You trust her so much that you think that she was the right fucking person to go and bring Bassam over to the lighthouse. I never even said I acknowledge that, motherfucker. Now you're putting words in my to mouth. Go, to, to go and bring it down to Otto's. You know, you know she's got a paranoia issue, right? Okay. How do you know she's not fucking hearing things? Like just because she said, hey, he's talking about it. Maybe you should handle it yourself. And don't tell me you handled it right. Or that you did handle it yourself. Because right now, now we're the ones handling it. I handled it as soon as I found out about it. That's not handling. That's some fucking Miles Landon and, level and, shit. I'm going to be straight with you. Anybody got some food? I'm about to fucking pass out. Here you go, boss. Got some bandages. So, Hello? you need oh. to get rid of that fucking murder weapon. Immediately, Denzel. Okay, uh, go take care of that. And then we need to figure out what the fuck happens from here, because the minute the cops find out that Annie and Bjorn were involved, it's it's pretty much game over. And you have any any text messages with Andy we should know about? Uh, yeah, sure. Someone needs to grab Mila and talk to her too. Who is Mila? Mila, 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 Mila who? What is Mila. her? What is her last name? Mila's the, the, girlfriend. The minute there was a, the minute the tweet went out, uh, she asked if I was holding up okay, and I said I'm just a bit over the place, getting drunk, gambling, pissed that I found out from Twitter. She said, "I know, honey. You want me to send anyone over? Take care of yourself." I said, "I'll be fine. Fine. Thanks, honey." And I misspelled the word thanks. Said that to Mila? If, no, motherfucker. Why would I say that to Mila? If uh, if they subpoena your records, they're going to see that picture from Stag, though. That's going to be the problem. Yep, Stag, Stag did text me a fucking picture. A photo of what? picture? <laughs> I'll take a Stag picture of texted me a photo of the fucking pier. It's Denzel on the pier that Bassam was He's found. Not on the pier. Oh, I'm done with this shit. It. Oh, my fucking God. Hmm. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> Did you text me that photo? I thought you were supposed to be smart, Stag! <laughs> what the fuck? It's not about who's smart or about who's dumb. This is exactly why you don't fucking jump the gun and kill somebody. You need to weigh all these fucking potential consequences. These that things need the to be thought Stag about. Is gonna text me a photo of the place? Jesus fucking Christ. Definitely we're fine, guys. Guys, we straight. are fine. We are fine. We are absolutely fine. There's just, there's, 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 think, there's just no other way. Right to, now, no other way to put it. Right now, everybody that's got anything under the name, move it somewhere else. And then let's think about next steps. Uh, I mean, I don't have shit, and my record's clean as fuck, so I could take some shit. No, you can't take it, even if it's clean. Right now. The assumption should be that anybody here can get raided via association. Remember, yeah. this is the death of... This is the biggest death in the city. Government employee. Uh, second. Uh, this is the fucking deputy No, no, no. Mayor. He means big by his title. This is the deputy exactly. fucking mayor of Los Santos. This isn't a fucking, you know, some guy on the fucking side of the road. This is this is a guy with status. He's a government official. You know, this is This is ridiculous. We were just gearing up to fucking start another mayoral race. There's so much tied to this that I hope you guys understand.
uh, once you really take a, take the time time to to really think about this. Yeah, it, it's serious as shit, but I mean, I think the only person really that's fucked is Bjorn. And Denzel. No, no, I mean, no, 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 no. The we're, radar we're right now. Yeah, yeah. We're we're all, right all, we are, each other. We are all think implicated. A different direction, not the legal side of things. Legal is nothing. They're stupid. It's everyone and their cousin who's going to assume direct association based off zero evidence. I mean, exactly. Dre already got shot. Dre already got shot. Dre already got shot. I mean, the the legal side could even simply be taken care of is planting that gun on someone else right after Dre has just been shot. I I strongly believe that Dre has not been targeted for a long time, as far as I'm aware. Am I right or wrong? I don't think. I don't think Dre has ever been targeted. Any, period. For any reason. I mean, aside so from like uh, collateral taken... damage from uh, the race when we were doing events and shit, never directly targeted. I don't think so. No. So well, for her to have been taken today, I think it's it's <laughs> there's a exception. I can't think of any other possibility that someone took her and tried to get her to speak, and that someone is probably tied to NBC. And that's a big fucking problem. We, we said this earlier, but, you know, as, as shitty as it is, Dre getting shot works for us. She's the other Fine. deputy mayor. I clearly oh, no, remember, it, it works uh, for us. I, it works. It might work for us. Let's clarify, because I already had her go to Pred and tell her that she was a deputy mayor and somebody's attempted to kill her, you know, to take her out. Yeah, I mean, yeah, exactly. That, it okay. works for us. That, I, so, it doesn't work for us against, you know, if we think NBC is doing this. But okay, so that's one all, all of us need to be also to clear about. our places out, though. Right. I feel like we should do that ASAP. Yeah, like, right, now. right now. Yeah, yeah we should I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to do that right now. So let's all go. I think all my shit's clear. Dude, this is crazy. This is crazy, bro. And, you know, can you drop me off at the penthouse? Mm -hmm. Can I mark it up for you? Um, the only thing I have in my place is, um, is Dean in here? Uh, Dean is not here. He said, fuck this shit. <laughs> the only thing I have in my place is yeah, five silencers. Move it all. I can literally just walk around and give it out if I don't have a place to put it. Um, honestly, worst case scenario, get rid of it all. Okay. Right now, money is the least important thing we should be thinking of. Um, we should, does anyone have vehicles parked at the arcade? I fucking Maybe. hope not. I, like any vehicle, not. I, I don't no mean something vehicle should shit. ever be parked at the arcade. Period. Ever. No. Okay. Oh, the arcade. I have a vehicle parked at uh, Autos, and that's it. Okay, double check all the nerds. Make sure nobody has a car parked there. For the, wait, no, who has keys? Only people that have keys have can keys. park there. Nobody. Only I have keys. Oh to fuck! Thank God, all right. I don't have it. Uh, my my, this is this is ridiculous. I uh, my biggest worry right now is it's not about NBC coming and trying to clap us. It's that that happens and that they start talking. We'll say a lot of things out of emotion. Those fucking, I fucking fuck. Those cocksuckers know that. Fuck. Who knows what? I, I, I'm close to ABC. They, they know a lot about me. Oh, fuck. And I we and we just, we just killed their fucking, fucking bank account. Yeah. Their oh. bank account was killed the minute he got contempt. No, 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 no. 
that yeah, yeah, is yeah, yeah, Salim's yeah. brother. Oh. I don't think the money is going to be the big thing. We oh, just killed one of their fuck. fucking brothers. Salim was fucking oh, dying. They were fuck. all outside. I was at their fucking memorial. I was ready to fucking do something to bash and fucking Conan. Well, it really was them that found out already. I, I think I, I don't know what to do. If they target someone in the guild, I don't know what to do. Because I.